10.2 vectors in the plane so in this video we're gonna start by talking about what a vector is the definition of a vector and a couple just definitions of what we need to know before we can get into the derivatives and the properties of vectors when an object moves along a straight line its velocity can be determined by a single number that represents both magnitude and direction a two-dimensional vector is an object in the plane, an arrow giving direction and its length representing its magnitude. So for example, if I had an xy axis like this, and I had a vector that would start here and end here, we would draw that like this, and its direction is represented by which way the vector points, and its magnitude is how long the vector is. A two-dimensional vector, which, we're, which we represent as v with an arrow over it, is an ordered pair of real numbers denoted in component form as a comma b. And notice we don't use parentheses. We use those greater than or less than signs, which, are we, which I like to call pointy brackets. Not curly brackets, but pointy brackets. The numbers a and b are components of the vector v. The standard representation of a vector v is the arrow from the origin to the point a comma b. The magnitude or the absolute value of v denoted as the absolute value of v is the length of the arrow is pointing. The vector o is called the zero vector and has length zero and no direction. So again, for example, the vector a comma b would look something like this, where this is the point a comma b. The next thing I want to talk about is how to find the magnitude of a vector. So the magnitude, or the absolute value of the vector, is a non-negative number which you find by finding the square root of a squared plus b squared, which is essentially just the distance formula since you start at 0, 0. Now we're going to talk about the direction angle of a vector. The direction angle of a non-zero vector is the smallest non-negative angle, theta, formed with the positive x-axis as the initial ray and the standard representation of v as the terminal ray. What this means is that if I had a graph like this and I had that as my vector then this would be my theta because you have to start with the positive x-axis. If I had a vector like this this would not be theta because that would be negative. So then theta would be like this. Any two arrows with the same length and pointing in the same di direction represent the same vector. So for example, the vector 3, 4 is shown represented by the ray AB, as well as its standard representation CD. The two vectors represent the same vector and are equivalent. So notice that this vector goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, and across 1, 2, 3. This vector goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. So it makes the same exact vector. Even though this one does not start or end at 3, 4. So when we want to find angle and direction and, and magnitude of a vector, we can always take the vector and move it to the origin in order to cal do calculations. If a vector does not start at the origin, this is how you're going to go ahead and write the vector. We call it the head minus tails method. If an arrow has an initial point x1, y1, and a terminal point x2, y2, it represents the vector, 
x2 minus x1 comma y2 minus y1. So for example, in this vector here, this is my x1 and my y1, and this is my x2 and my y2. I know that, that the point negative 1, 6 is my terminal point because that's where the arrow stops, or points. We have this here. So then it's going to be pointy bracket, negative 1 minus negative 4, comma, 6 minus 2. So this is going to give me negative 1 plus 4, comma, 4, which is 3, comma, 4, which is the same as this vector here. 